Emergency security measures remain in place in Moscow after Wagner S. mercenary coup appears to have shaken the Russian president's position. However, many questions are yet to be answered in this regard. What will Putin do now? President Putin came to power almost two decades ago. But what happened over the past 36 hours has presented the biggest challenge to the authority of a Russian president in power for more than two decades. Although the immediate threat to Putin's power appears to have abetted, experts on Russian affairs say that Putin has been badly affected by the incident and is not looking strong. President Putin's distaste for the betrayal was demonstrated by his stern demeanor during a Sunday morning TV address where he accused Wagner's leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, of stabbing in the back and treason. Since this address, the president of Russia has not been seen in public and there are no plans for a new presidential speech in the near future. In a pre-recorded interview on state TV on Sunday, apparently recorded before the coup, Mr. Putin said he was confident about the progress of the war in Ukraine. It is not clear whether President Putin is currently in the Russian capital. Some believe that Mr. Putin will respond in some way, either through new military action in Ukraine or by cracking down on those inside Russia who have not been his supporters. Polish MEP Riddick Sikorski told the BBC that his government would now become more authoritarian and more brutal.